Well, let's go. He was the rebel with a cause, and his cause was rock and roll. I am rock and roll, boy. Now, these other people are rock and roll, but I am rock and roll. In 1957, he rocked and shocked the world by teaching teenagers everywhere to shake it. I can see now that apparently it did stir up some kind of sexual behavior. It makes you feel good inside. But what Jerry Lee Lewis was really shaking was nothing less than the foundations of musical history. Jerry Lee Lewis is one of the founding fathers of rock and roll. And let's just face it, the, the cat is a music genius. But less than a year after his sensational breakthrough, Jerry Lee Lewis's meteoric career was on the skids, when the world learned of his marriage to his 13-year-old second cousin. And I said, Jerry, I'm too young for this. And he said, no, you're not. My sister got married when she was 12. I said, but I'm still too young for this. Let's wait a while. He said, no, we're not waiting. It's now or never. His fall from the top was swift and brutal. Yes, I was blacklisted, so to say. I was just banded. I've apologized to him over and over again for, uh, you know, caving along with the rest of the cowards. But he wasn't called killer for nothing, and no boycott or personal tragedy was going to stop Jerry Lee Lewis. He's got this tremendous spirit to survive, and he remains dignified, really, amongst all this tragedy. Tonight on Behind the Music, Jerry Lee Lewis looks back on a rock and roll lifetime, from great balls of fire to middle-aged crazy. I was really doing some crazy things, and I, I was running wild. I, I thought I was having a good time, but apparently I wasn't having quite a good time I thought I was having. 